with regard to uh, that project we've just uh, been talking about, uh, you can actually hear uh, your gospel, which is the gospel in different languages, as in John 3.16, spoken in different languages, on uh, best of gospel at the top of the hour. Normally that uh, will last uh, a minute, couple of minutes, uh, but sometimes it may uh, last uh, today like a little bit longer. But we would love more people to come along and uh, and do that. So represent the gospel in as many languages as possible uh, and uh, to represent the different people groups who are indeed coming to Aberdeen. Uh, Aberdeen has lots of different people groups uh, and uh, it's a about representing the gospel to them so they feel at home and the gospel then starts becoming more relevant to them. Now I did mention cash in your pocket. We mentioned it this morning and we're going to mention it again this afternoon. Uh, It's a sad fact that many people uh, do actually suffer quite a bit uh, from a lack of cash for whatever reason uh, and they they need to know that they have a network who they can turn to uh, and uh, cash in your pocket is is a secular network uh, there are other networks which i shall also mention in this but uh, particularly cash in your pocket which is part of cash in your pocket network And uh, the network has over a decade of operational experience in the promotion and coordination of financial inclusion services in Aberdeen City, specifically targeting regeneration areas and the most vulnerable. They work in partnership with government departments, local authority and voluntary sector to ensure increased understanding of the pathways to help and allowing access to suitable financial services and to increase individual and family financial capability. Now that uh, seems like quite a mouthful. Um, it it is actually supported in itself by a number of uh, different uh, organisations as well, which we should give a message uh, an, a note to in a moment. So CIP in a nutshell, CIYP in a nutshell, uh, for most people, financial well-being is about feeling confident that they can meet their essential costs and needs from the money and resources they have available to them. So a cash in your pocket aims to achieve a unified approach to meeting financial need through the robust coordination, partnership, holistic financial support, better outreach and community engagement. And they have a a goal of improving awareness and confidence within communities and individuals to seek help at the earliest point of need and maintain and promote referral pathways to help and ensure ease of access of the most appropriate organisation at the earliest opportunity. They do believe in uh, providing a strong co- commitment to engaging local community structures and individuals uh, that they're informed of their activity. They take a, a partnership approach to uh, raising uh, awareness raising and consultation, which has provided a level of contact and long-term relationship that provides CIYP, that's cash in your pocket, with uh, open door opportunities, momentum, understanding to deliver uh, initiatives more responsive to needs. You can read all about that at ciyp.co.uk. So who can benefit from it? Well, it's already uh, been said that anyone, in fact, can benefit uh, and that they encourage at the earliest point of need. So before you even start kind of going down, um, if something arises that is unexpected, now it could be um, can repair, it it could be through uh, illness and disability advice service, um it, it could be as a result of unemployment it could be lots of uh, different things uh, lots of different conditions that are affected uh, or effective in uh, bringing a person or a family to a point of need it could even be as simple as form filling uh, and i think uh, Many people uh, quite often put off applying 
for help simply because of the amount of forms and it seems the relative complexity even though when you look at the forms sometimes you have forms where they require similar answers and if you're anything like me I remember having to fill out application forms and there was a time and I used to look at these things and my eyes used to glaze over my brain used to glaze over long before that just looking and seeing the welter of responses and some of them just seemed so familiar and meld into one another and what do you do most people are put off by forms i'm put off by forms i hate them uh, but they will help out uh, cash in your pocket will help out with form filling they pe help out with personal independence payments benefits pensions self-directed support redundancy legal advice eviction debt sanctions reconsiderations appeals heating your home getting back to work healthy eating uh, even advice with saving, budgeting, low-cost loans, home repairs and adaption, adaptations, food parcels, uh, advice with helping to stop smoking, uh, purchasing low-cost foods, uh, home fire safety checks and any other money-related uh, issue. Um, and uh, you can actually get help uh, very easily should you have any of these needs. And again, I say uh, do that at the earliest point of need. Uh, now, if you're wondering where they are, they're, they're based in Poyanuk Road. I believe it's to Poyanuk Road. Um, but they're certainly on the end of a phone. Uh, and I believe that's uh, any time. Uh, 0800 953 Four three three zero. That's oh eight hundred nine five three four three three zero. Online, um, uh, ciyp dot co dot uk, and uh, there's a blue box with uh, the contact information in, and there's a link where you can click here uh, to tell us about the help you need. And there's also um, completing a ciyp referral leaflet and return to free post cash in your pocket. Uh, and these leaflets are available from community centres and NHS sites. There's also, of course, the NHS uh, uh, building um, close to Frederick Street. And uh, you can go in there and uh, you can get that to the health village and you can get help from there. Um, and you can email info at C I Y and it says pp.co.uk. I'm sure there's an extra P in that. Uh, than, than there actually needs to be. But anyway, particularly go along to ciyp.co.uk and uh, they will actually help. When a referral is made, if you're wondering what actually happens when a referral is made, perhaps you make a self-referral, perhaps through the free phone number online, completing the referral leaflet. Uh, if information is required, Cash in your pocket may contact you. Your representative referrer um, before uh, forwarding to the most appropriate organisations or organisation. They or the one organisation will contact you as soon as possible by telephone or by letter. Cash in your pocket can then track your referral until completion by maintaining contact with the providing organisation. And if you have any concerns, you can contact Cash in Your Pocket team. Uh, and uh, again, the free phone number is 0800 953 4330. And uh, they will do their best to help. Now, I did uh, say that we'd uh, let you find out about uh, some of the organisations uh, that are involved. And I'd started to read some of those out uh, accidentally. Uh, but I'll mention just a few of them, and these are organisations who do work with cash in your pocket. The uh, Aberdeen City Council Financial Inclusion Team, Care and Repair. Aberdeen Illness and Disability Advice Service, NHS Grampian, Community Food Initiatives North East, that's CFINE, Citizens Advice Bureau, SCARF, uh, is the Providing Home Energy Scotland. Uh, there's a Job Centre Plus, Pathways, uh, WAA Smart Money Advice, the Pension Service, BSA Carer Centre, Shelter, Somebody Cares, Aberdeen Cyrenians, ACVO, also Homestart, Instant Neighbour, 
Grampian Macmillan Partnership, Gordon Rural Action Pensionwise, iConnect Northeast, Civil Legal Assistance Office, Aberdeen Foyer, Aberdeen Action on Disability, Disabled Persons Housing Service, Scottish Fire and Rescue Service, Aberdeen Food Banks Partnership and Aberdeen City Council Services and all these organisations uh, and I think some more actually uh, uh, ones that uh, you might well get referred to uh, and who may well be able to help. So that, that's a, a point of care and you can get that help immediately. I did say I'd also let you hear uh, and know about some of the other organisations and we have uh, done that before as well. We have mentioned these organisations before, but it's good to know that you have a good range of organisations. Now, the next organisation I am going to mention um, is an organisation called Ditch Debt with Dignity. Uh, and uh, the lady who runs that is Wendy, Wendy Stewart, and uh, she does a great, great work. I had a little chat to her and hopefully catch up with her uh, in January uh, 2019. But their website, ditchdebtwithdignity.com, they are a Christian organization, but they do so uh, in, in a way which is... Uh, uh, non-confrontational, non in your face with regard to uh, the, the any religion or anything. They're not not religious in that way, but what they do is to provide that service, but they do so uh, with the heart of Christ at the centre. Um, and people are treated in a non-judgmental uh, way. Uh, they're just simply given an opportunity to... Uh, breathe an opportunity to have the help that is available so it's ditchdebtwithdignity.com now the other organization is cap uk that's christians against poverty uh, they're based in bradford but they also uh, work ch on a church by church basis uh, capuk.org is the website and they do also I believe have an outlet at uh, King's Community Church and uh, you can find out more about what uh, Christians Against Poverty do and about them by going to their website and we'll put uh, the contact details of that up uh, on the podcast site uh, when we mention about all these uh, three organisations that are able to help you should you need help. This is Gospel for Grampian and uh, this is the Community Elements Show. And we're about highlighting uh, the help that is available out there and indeed how you can actually help uh, and get involved with these organizations all these three organizations in fact that i've just mentioned capuk.org ditch debt with dignity and uh, also uh, cash in your pocket and see fine uh, they all have a need of volunteers and you can get in contact with them through their websites if you want to actually help them in any way if you're able to offer them some time uh, do get in contact uh, they would love to hear from you and it's always a good idea just to be really sure that you can actually provide the time uh, rather than just saying oh i can give 10 hours a week say uh, but not actually give that time uh, that's no use to anyone but if you're able to give the time uh, then these organizations would love to hear from you and they really like ourselves we do depend on volunteers a bit it has to be a good and reliable service you're tuned into gospel for grampian gospel community radio for north scotland engaging equipping and enabling communities to live life to the full with christ jesus at the center it's uh, coming up to uh, 23 minutes to 5 and we've got some uh, music for you from Sandra McCracken and uh, some more music going up to 5 o'clock when at 5 o'clock on this Friday evening it'll be hearing is believing and uh, then at 7 o'clock you'll be able to hear 
the Power Hour, which is about applying God's Word in prayer. Do keep tuned in for that. And uh, this program going out again uh, between uh, 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. Uh, Saturday and Sunday. And you'll be able to listen in to the individual community elements during the co Community Best programs uh, during the week and also catch up with some of these things on our podcast site as well. And that's g4g.podbean.com. Have a very great weekend. <laughs>